Music of the Ghosts um, traces the journey of a young American woman returning to Cambodia, a homeland she fled as a child, refugee of war, more than two decades before at the end of the Khmer Rouge regime. Her return is spurred on by a letter she receives from an old musician who claims to have known her father when the two men were incarcerated together in one of the Khmer Rouge um, notorious security prisons. The old musician came out of my desire to understand what happened to my father who was taken away um, during the Khmer Rouge regime. To this day, his fate is unknown. I am almost certain that he suffered greatly before he died. The thing about the disappeared is that you continue to wonder about them for as long as you yourself live. Music of the Ghosts is about survivors of one terrible genocidal regime, but the question it probes are more universal. What is what does it take to atone? What is possible to forgive? Tira's undiminished emotional connection to Cambodia echoes my own. Despite the distance, the years of being away, her heart is tethered to that land, to the ghosts of those she loved. Music of the Ghosts is also a love story. It is a story for all of us who have been displaced and long for home. It is a story that explores the geography of the heart and uh, the love it retains despite great loss, great injustice.